Good morning to you all, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all fit and healthy and well. Um, it's that time of week again, it's Wednesday. So this is my second What I Ate Wednesday video. First one was quite popular. Um, so I decided to make one every week. I might make, you know, what I ate on other days and my exercise activity as well. So if you like the What I Ate Wednesday video, there'll be a lot more coming. Um, so for breakfast this morning, I'm going to have four of my homemade crumpets. I just love crumpets, they're amazing. Just about to put them under the grill. Got a whole batch that I made up yesterday in here. Um, I have four for every breakfast, so there's about three breakfasts worth. I'm going to have a tiny, tiny amount of spread. Obviously that's um, dairy free, there's nothing in there that's not suitable for vegans, obviously. And some raspberry jam. And I'm about to grind up some coffee beans. Um, I love freshly ground black coffee, and then I'm going to... Um, make my coffee with this thing which is just one of the things that I own that I absolutely love it's my Bialetti coffee pot goes on the top there goes on with the stove um, now I know a lot of people who have undertaken a healthy lifestyle um, they've given up on coffee um, there are a lot of people who say a lot of which you know if you've given up coffee that's great that's fine everybody you know does their own thing there are some people, I think, who've gone a little bit overboard um, when talking about coffee. I've seen videos on YouTube of people um, saying that coffee is, is like caffeine because it's such a dangerous stimulant. I, I don't believe that. Um, I think if you, eat, if you drink small amounts of coffee like I do, then I think it's probably beneficial. There are a lot of studies that have shown that small amounts of coffee are actually beneficial to you. Um... I'm not a massive coffee drinker, so this, the coffee that I have with my breakfast is the only coffee that I'll have all day. And uh, once my um, stovetop pot has uh, made coffee, um, it only makes one and a quarter to one and a half cups of coffee. Um, and when I say cups, I actually mean um, like teacups. I always have a teacup with a saucer, so. It's not a mug, it's only one and a quarter to one and a half small teacups. So I think if that's all the coffee you drink all day, I think the benefits of coffee um, will be there for you and the negatives of coffee won't because drinking a small amount of coffee is, is probably good for you. Right, so I'll grind my coffee beans, I'll make my coffee with my stovetop pot, I'll grill my crumpets and then um, I'll get back to you shortly. So my crumpets are done, just uh, jamming them up. I put a tiny, tiny amount of spread on the crumpets, but one thing that you need to be careful of is your spread. Um, when I started entering my food details into Chronometer, I realised actually that most of the fat that I was consuming on a daily basis comes from the spread that you put on your bread and your toast and all sorts. Um, so re be very careful with your spread. You might not realise. Um, you know, have a look at how much saturated fat is in one teaspoon of your chosen spread, and you'll probably be quite shocked. Um, most of the time now, when I have toast or crumpets, I don't have any spread on. I just put the jam straight on. But this morning, I felt like a little bit of spread, so it's not too bad. So my crumpets are done. My coffee has perked in my stovetop pot. Um, let's go upstairs and enjoy them. So here we are ready to enjoy my breakfast. Got my crumpets all jammed up. And I just wanted to show you, I was talking earlier about coffee and how I think that a small amount of coffee is actually beneficial. Well, my stovetop pot makes enough coffee to fill that cup one one time and a quarter, or one and a half maybe. Um, so I think, you know, that's all the black coffee that I will consume today. So I think having one and a quarter of these very small 
coffee cups is actually going to be beneficial to me rather than have a negative effect. So I'm going to sit at my desk, my writing bureau, <coughs> I'm going to enjoy my coffee and my crumpets, I'm going to read some of my uh, book on Byron, yes I know, yet another book on Byron, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that's my breakfast for what I ate Wednesday and I'll see you later for lunch. It's now mid-morning um, and I'm going to go and have like a, an hour, maybe an hour and a half's walk so I've got 600 millilitres of water in my Nalgene bottle to take with me and I've just finished making and baking this beautiful um, wholemeal baguette made it all from scratch, made up the dough, all that stuff baked it on this fantastic silicon baguette tray makes really delicious tasting authentic baguettes you put a tray of water in the bottom of the oven um, which creates this really lovely authentic crispy baguette crust so I'm going to be having that for lunch I'm going to stuff it with um, cucumber and romaine lettuce probably have a nice cup of tea with it um, so I'll see you back here shortly for lunch so it's lunch time, I've got my lunch all ready, got a beautiful piping hot cup of Earl Grey tea which just tastes so amazing and I've um, cut my home baked baguette, homemade baguette in half, stuffed it with cucumber and romaine lettuce which is pretty much my favourite filling. Um, so I'm just going to go and enjoy lunch, might have a couple of bananas afterwards, I'm not sure yet. So uh, stay tuned and uh, carry on watching on what I ate Wednesday. So it's afternoon snack time. Um, I'm going to fill this uh, my Nalgene bottle up so that'll be 600, about 600 millilitres of water, about 20 fluid ounces and a couple of fairly ripe bananas. Um, and I'll see you back here for my dinner which I think I think my dinner tonight is probably going to be a banana raspberry carob powder smoothie because I want something fairly light um, I don't like to eat too much for dinner I, I prefer to have my sort of cooked meal for lunch so my dinner tends to be uh, you know filling healthy but something fairly light and of course a smoothie uh, banana raspberry smoothie is very light very easily digestible so um, I'll see you back for dinner so it's dinner time folks uh, on what I ate Wednesday and I'm having my banana, raspberry and carob powder smoothie um, four bananas, two of them frozen, cup and a half frozen raspberries tablespoon of carob powder um, I actually have a video on the channel of of the ingredients and the method well, <laughs> method, I mean you know, it's a smoothie everybody knows how to make a smoothie but in case you don't there is a video on my channel I will put a link in the description box and I will link uh, to the video on the screen so I'm just gonna blend this up and enjoy my smoothie for dinner and uh, see you in a second and there's my dinner my smoothie lovely absolutely beautiful icy cold raspberries banana carob powder and I added some water just to make a little bit more of it there's still some left in the um, my ninja blender so that'll fill me up calories sugars no fat um, so that's my dinner uh, thank you very much for watching this what I ate Wednesday video please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more I do lots of uh, different videos and different subjects um, Leave any comments if you'd like to, and I uh, look forward to uh, communicating with you all. Um, I guess I'll see you again pretty soon, and next Wednesday there'll be another one of these videos. Thanks for your time, I really appreciate it. Thank you.